What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Destroy coming at you with our quarterback running back video. I uh, figured I'd just combine the two videos. Um, instead of trying to get a video video out every day, uh, at least combine the videos to create the content for it. Uh, some days is harder to upload than others. That's why. So let's just break into it. Lamar Jackson, 7,300. In my opinion, he should be more facing the Cincinnati team to where we're just going to look at his game against Cincinnati. Boom, 33 points, ran for 152 yards. And guess what? Lamar Jackson's on fire. They need to continue to win in order to make sure playoffs are easily there for him, which I believe they will be. Uh, playing against Cincinnati, who they destroyed. Uh, they're going to be at Cincinnati. Um Maybe makes Mark Ingram a little bit better of a play than last time against Cincinnati. Uh, but still, Lamar Jackson is probably one of the safest bets this week against Cincinnati, who was just a terrible team going with a backup quarterback. So uh, that Baltimore offense might see the ball a little more, which is always good. Uh, Jameis Winston playing Arizona, who is the worst pass defense in the league. Second best quarterback on this slate, in my opinion, uh, to Lamar Jackson. As long as Jameis Winston can just produce like he has. Uh, I mean, if you look at it through the last six weeks, he's only had one game where he got under 20 fantasy points. Um, and for the prices, it's not bad. 6,800 is a little more than he's been all year. But when you're playing against one of the worst pass defenses in the league, and we've seen what Tampa Bay's offense can do, especially when healthy and they're all are healthy. He's a great, great pick this week. In my opinion, Drew B's, Drew Brees, sorry, uh, $6,700, $100 cheaper facing Atlanta. And New Orleans needs to continue to win in order to also have a playoff chance. Um, even though they are in the playoff contention right now, um, every win counts. Uh, when you're playing Atlanta, if Matt Ryan does play, this is going to be a really good game. And we can see Drew Brees do what Drew Brees always does. Um Atlanta Falcons are the fourth worst defense in the league. They've only picked off quarterbacks twice and given up 19 touchdowns. So Drew Brees being back and healthy. And like I said, we look at his numbers last week, um, 20, 28.92 points against Arizona. He's facing another terrible pass defense. So look for Drew Brees to be a great play here. Aaron Rodgers playing Carolina. Um, not one of my favorite plays. Um, Panthers don't have the, you know, greatest defense like they used to, uh, but they do intercept quarterbacks a lot. They're actually uh, 10 and 11, 10 touchdowns, 11 interceptions to quarterback, Aaron, even though it's Aaron Rodgers, and Aaron Rodgers is going to be playing at home, which you look at his numbers, 25 fantasy points per game at home. Um, the matchup is just a little shaky. You saw what they did against the Chargers last week. Um, there's just a little more safer plays than I would take Aaron Rodgers here. Uh, not a bad GPP play, but uh, for cash, Breeze, Winston, Jackson. Kyler Murray, same thing. Kyler Murray's a really good play here. Uh, playing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who have the second worst defense in the league to Arizona. Uh, so this game's going to go one of two ways. Either defenses are going to show up and the offenses just choke, or the offenses are just going to have a shootout. Uh, Kyler Murray, 6,500. The only thing that scares me with Kyler Murray is look at his games. He's produced um, really solid, then had a couple shaky weeks on the road. Um, and they're going on the road again. And you look at his numbers on the road, they're not the greatest compared to when he's at home. So this is uh, this is Jameis Winston pick, in my opinion. Uh, just a safer play. Matt Stafford in a divisional game against the Bears. It's just my preference just because I'm a Bears fan and I'm going to continue to say it and it's probably going to ruin my credibility a little bit, but I don't want to play anybody against the Bears just because the Bears defense has potential. It's just the Bears offense makes the Bears defense struggle. Um, but like, like I said, just so much more safer plays that I would play this week than um, some of these guys here in uh, tougher matchups. Josh Allen against Cleveland. Cleveland has a pretty decent uh, defense. They can easily intercept, and they have Miles Garrett, who's going to go after Josh Allen. Um, not one of my favorite plays here at 6,300. Uh, Jared Goff against Pittsburgh. Um, the Steelers' defense has been fairly good. They don't allow a lot of yards. Um, their touchdown interception rate is 15 to 11. Uh, and with Brandon Cooks possibly being out, that eliminates one target for Jared Goff. But Jared Goff's been solid the last two weeks, like we just saw. But they are on the road. Um, 
in Pittsburgh is pretty decent uh, playing at home. So uh, Jared Goff, sure, if if I need to pay down at a quarterback, he's probably the only quarterback that I would really pay down for. Um, Matt Ryan, if he plays, uh, New Orleans defense is just really good, but it is Matt Ryan. It's just you don't know if he's going to come back from the injury or not. And then you don't know what he's going to produce. I mean, he's going to throw 300 yards, but is he going to throw the touchdowns? Uh, if he does play 6,100, I'm not totally against it for cash. Um, Brissett Hoyer, you can go either one, whoever whoever plays. Um, Hoyer didn't have a bad week for coming in. I mean, you look at his numbers, 168 yards, three touchdowns. He did have a fumble, too, and an interception, but pretty good numbers. Um, cheap quarterback. Sam Darnold playing against the Giants defense. Giants still has a terrible defense, but they have intercepted quarterbacks a lot lately. Uh, they've given up almost their top five in yards allowed, um, but that Jets offense just hasn't looked good for anyone to trust him at this point, and it's a New York game, so um, kind of struggling there. Daniel Jones, same thing. I'm just going to say the same thing. Daniel Jones is Darnold. The offense just hasn't clicked as much, so not loving it. Um, Fitzpatrick against the Colts. The Colts defense is way too good, and Miami just lost two good players, so I'd definitely go Colts defense this week. Trubisky against Detroit. Trubisky needs to have a good week um, in order for Bears to have any hope of making playoffs. Now, if they don't win this week, they're not going to make playoffs, in my opinion, so he needs to ball out against a terrible pass defense here, but he had a terrible pass defense last week and didn't leave up live up to expectations. Ryan Tannehill against the Chiefs. Um, I'd, I'd rather go Derrick Henry, in my opinion, this week. Uh, he did get a rushing touchdown, 38 yards, um, 331 passing yards, and a touchdown against Carolina's defense. And Tannehill's looked pretty good. Uh, the thing is, uh, if, if Mahomes plays, I'm, I'm loving Tannehill at 5,100. Uh, not one of my safer cash plays, but 5,100 is a really good price point. And then Baker Mayfield, the last quarterback I'm going to talk about on this list. Um, against Buffalo, 5,000, no interest. <laughs> uh, so that's it for quarterbacks, guys. Just go uh, up to running backs. Christian McCaffrey, 10-5 against Green Bay. Um, I don't think any price point is too high for Christian McCaffrey at this point. I really don't. Look at the numbers he's produced. Uh, the, the worst week he's had so far is Tampa Bay, but that was on a showdown game. Um, yeah, it, it, it's hard to uh, go against that uh, Christian McCaffrey play. Uh, Saquon Barkley against the Jets. Price is good. I like the matchup. He's going to have to run the ball uh, in order for the Giants to destroy the Jets, which we've seen teams destroy the Jets. So total 11 Saquon Barkley there. If Kamara plays, Kamara is a really good play here playing against uh, Atlanta. They do have a good rush defense, but Kamara is a receiving back. And with Drew Brees in, Kamara and Michael Thomas's production just goes up so much. Aaron Jones against Carolina. Um, I'm not totally against Aaron Jones. Um, it, it really just depends on what they do um, with Jamal Williams for anybody to love Aaron Jones. But we've seen him just have some ridiculous games. Uh, Panthers, top 10 worst rush defense in the league, allowing 11 rushing touchdowns. Um, so, yeah, you just got to see uh, Williams' um, game plan uh, against Carolina. Latavius Murray, if Kamara plays, I mean, you're paying way too much for Latavius Murray. If uh, Kamara's out, Latavius Murray, then you're not paying too much because he's, we've seen him just destroy numbers and expectations. Um, and like I said, Breeze is in. Uh, any running back, any player in that offense's uh, value goes up. James Conner, I uh, don't believe he's going to play. Samuels, still another good play here. Rams' rush defense is pretty decent. Um which doesn't make me want to favor Pittsburgh here, but uh, you, you never know. It just depends on the injuries for uh, Pittsburgh. Mark Ingram, great, great price, great matchup here. Uh, we saw what he did against Cincinnati uh, a couple weeks ago, 15.4. Um, if you're, in my opinion, you have to go one, either Ingram or Jackson. It's just whoever you want to pay for. Nick Chubb playing against Buffalo. I, I really love this, actually. Uh, Buffalo, top 10, terrible rush uh rush defense um and i continue to say the only good thing on that offense just look at his numbers he has not had a game where he hasn't got 10 points so always returns somewhat value there 
Marlon Mack playing against Miami. Uh, just depends if Marlon Mack is fully healthy. Like, great play. They might get Hines included in the offense. Uh, if four years in, I could see Marlon Mack getting a huge workload this week against a terrible Miami team. Le'Veon Bell, if he doesn't play, Todd Montgomery's a good, uh, great play here against the Giants defense because Giants defense, terrible pass rush, doesn't matter. Derrick Henry's in one of the best matchups this week against uh, Kansas City with Tannehill in, add new life to that offense. Derrick Henry's a uh, pretty good play here. Um, we saw what he did last week, uh, 13 carries, 63 yards, a touchdown, and then a receiving touchdown too. Uh, yeah, I'm loving it, uh, especially in a really good matchup again. Price is 6400 really good price. Jalen Samuels, like I said, just got to depend on who's playing for Pittsburgh for running backs. Todd Gurley playing against uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, probably not one of my favorite plays here. I'd rather go golf in some of those receivers than Todd Gurley. Um, whatever running back plays for Arizona, I don't like it at all. Uh, Tampa Bay's run defense has just been really solid. Um, the only way those running backs get points is through receiving this week. Uh, and you don't know who's going to play. Edmonds is more than likely out. So it's going to be between Johnson and Drake. Uh, if Drake plays, then I have interest because he's a really good receiving back. Johnson also is, but he's been banged up. So it's hard to say. And David Montgomery right here, 5,300, playing against the Detroit Lions. Worst rush defense in the league to running backs. And David Montgomery, look at his numbers the last two weeks. He, he's finally that running back that my Bears have needed him to be. Uh, statistically, he got two one-yard rushing touchdowns last week. Uh, the week before, he got 135 yards and a rushing touchdown. He's not going to get a huge amount of receptions and targets he has lately. But He's someone who should get a lot of yards in this divisional game, especially being at home again. Jamal Williams, like I said, I really like Jamal Williams here, 5,200. Uh, he's someone that doesn't d disappoint when he plays. Just look at his numbers for how cheap he's been. Um, he goes back down to 5,200 against a really favorable matchup here in Carolina. And look at those receiving touchdowns. He has four receiving touchdowns in the last four games. So definitely good play there. Uh, Devontae Freeman against New Orleans, I don't like at all. Devin Singletary, I really do like, uh, just depending on Gore, if Frank Gore is still fully healthy. Um, his production goes down a little bit, uh, or his volume, I should say. But just, I, I played him last week, and I, I knew it was going to work out, and surely it did work out. Uh, 95 rushing yards, a touchdown, and three receptions for 49 yards. So, yeah, definitely loved it there. Uh, other than that, everyone else is pretty much a um, a question mark. The only other running back that you would consider, uh, if you really need to pay down, guys, uh, is Kalen Ballage here. He's going to be the only run, real running back for Miami. I uh, don't expect him to do too much, especially against Indiana's uh, defense, but he is a option down there. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, I know we talked about a lot of players here. Um, so I, I possibly did miss some players. Ty Montgomery right there, 4,100. Um, but let us know who you guys like for Sunday as far as quarterbacks, running backs. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe for all our content here, and follow us on Twitter if you're interested in getting our information, lines, anything else like that. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.